In this video, I'm going to walk you through the subtle red flags that may be indicators of autism in very young children. Now, remember, if your child shows some of these signs, it doesn't mean they have autism. It might just mean that you should book in with your doctor or an allied health professional for further assessment. So the first sign is not consistently using eye contact to gain your attention. So at this age, typically children will use eye contact to either show you something, start a conversation, or express their feelings or request something. So for example, if you were rolling a ball back and forward between your 12 month old and you stop rolling that ball, what you would typically see is the 12 month old would look at the ball, then maybe make a noise and then look up at you. And that would be to tell you, hey, why aren't you rolling that ball back to me? Whereas a child who is having difficulty with giving eye contact to gain your attention might just continue to look at that ball. The second red flag is not consistently using gestures. So by 12 months of age, babies use a wide range of gestures to communicate with you. So they might hold their arms up to tell you that they wanna be picked up. They might hold their hand out to you to show you something that's in their hand. They might wave hello or goodbye. They might clap their hands. They might shake their head yes or no. And lastly, they might point. So for example, your baby might point to the bottle that's on the bench, then look at you, which is the key component. They look back at you to make sure that you follow their point and you understand what they're asking. But a baby who finds it difficult to consistently use gestures might, instead of pointing, just go and grab your hand and not look up at you and then take you over to the bottle and place your hand on the bottle. And that is how they communicate with you that they want that bottle. So if your child rarely uses gestures to communicate with you, then that is also a red flag. This leads me on to the next red flag, which is doesn't respond to gestures or copy your actions or gestures. So at 12 months of age, babies respond to a wide range of gestures which are used by parents or others. So for example, if you were out walking with your baby and you said, look, there's a dog while pointing, Typically the child will look in that direction and try and find that dog. Also babies are sponges and they love to copy. So at 12 months of age, when you do a gesture or an action, typically you are going to see your toddler do that exact same action. So you might clap and they will clap or you'll say wave goodbye and then they will wave goodbye or you will smile at them and they will smile in return. You will also notice that toddlers will want to copy everyday actions that you're doing. So while you're brushing your hair, your toddler might want to brush their hair as well. Or while you're brushing your teeth, your toddler might want to brush their teeth or try and brush yours. So if you find that your toddler is not responding to your gestures or not copying your actions or gestures, then that is also a red flag. While we're on the topic of gestures, which is an important milestone that a baby achieves in that first year of life, remember to click on the free developmental checklist in the description box below if your baby is 12 months of age and you just want to make sure that they're achieving all the milestones they should be at this age. Rarely sharing their interest or enjoyment with others is also a red flag. So at 12 months of age, they are extremely social beings that have a strong desire to share any of their enjoyment with you. And they do that in multiple ways. So for example, when you walk past your toddler, they might smile at you to try and engage you in a conversation. They might laugh with you. They might come up and hold a toy in front of you so that you can see what they're wanting to show you or they'll point to an object that's of interest to them. So they might point to a toy that's on a shelf or they might point to a dog that's outside. They might look up at you to request more. And you will also notice that when they are playing, they will frequently look back at you just to make sure that you stay in the room and just to check in. A toddler who's finding it difficult to share enjoyment with others might play and be smiling and laughing while they're playing, but they don't reference back to you. So they won't look back at you or they might come and show you a toy by dropping it into your lap or into your hands, but they don't look up at you to share that interaction and that enjoyment. Or lastly, they might point at something of interest to them. So they might be out walking with you and point to a dog, but they don't look back at you to make sure you've followed that point and know what they're pointing at. Repetitive actions or movements can also be a red flag. Now, when we're talking about repetitive actions or movements, we can be talking about the child's play or their body movements. So in regards to a child's play, they might have a very particular interest or they might get stuck on a particular object or toy and do the same action over and over again. So for example, your little one might enjoy turning the light switch on and off, on and off, or they might enjoy watching the fan spin around or just looking at the lights in the room. 
they might enjoy just watching the sand fall from their hand when they're in the sand pit rather than using a spade to fill up the bucket or they might enjoy watching the wheels spin on a truck or a train rather than actually driving that train around. In regards to body movement, what you typically see is the child doing the same movement over and over again. So this might be hand splaying or finger circles or the child might put the hand in front of their face and then wave their fingers to see the changing light. You might see the flapping of the hands at the side of their body. You might see them walking on their toes most of the time. Now it needs to be most of the time, not sporadic. Or you might also see that hand stiffening when they are walking or the child might shake their head back and forward as a form of play or they might enjoy running around in circles. Now doing these behaviors for a few days is completely fine but if your child continues to do these behaviors and that's their kind of form of play then that is a potential red flag. Another red flag is not consistently responding to when their name is called or the sound of a familiar voice. So at 12 months of age, they will typically respond to their name being called on the second or third attempt, particularly if they're engaged in activity. If your child's hearing is fine and they're not responding consistently to their name being called, even when you're directly in front of them, then that is a red flag. But if you notice that your toddler is extremely social and tries to interact and engage you in play and is babbling and smiling, but they just don't respond to the name being called when their back is turned to you, then that might be an indication that their hearing needs to be assessed. Not babbling is also a red flag. At 12 months of age, a toddler may say their first words, but they are definitely using babble in a conversational way. And by that, I mean they are directing their babble towards someone you will also notice that when you speak to your toddler and you stop talking, your toddler will start to babble back at you as if they're saying real words and their babble also changes up and down in pitch. So instead of going the ga 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 or ba ba ba, they start to have it go up and down as if they're having a real conversation with you. If you notice that your toddler is not babbling or when they are making sounds that doesn't sound like they're actually having a conversation with you, then that is a red flag. Now, as I said, at 12 months of age, your toddler may be using words, but they're definitely using gestures. So if you want to help them start to say their first words, as well as use those gestures to communicate with you and help to reduce those frustrations they may be experiencing, make sure you click on this video. Remember to click on that free PDF document and I'll see you next week where I'll share more parenting tips and tricks.